Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back in again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out something different for me especially. We're looking at the new Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Figures, the Mutagen Man. Which is a very awesome character from the old Playmates, Super 7 right there on the packaging, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutagen Man stamped right on the front. It's just a cardboard box on the back, a couple of you know, barcode, things like that. Once you get it open, you start to see all the cool stuff, right? You got the Mutagen Man symbol right there on like a turtle shell manhole cover kind of thing. It's cool. You got a little bone and apple core. Nice packaging. I got to give it to him on this. It's interesting. It's totally different from most that I've had. Kind of reminds me of Mezco, but it's when you take this green slip cover off that you unveil the Mutagen Man, and he's looking pretty awesome. That's a big figure, and that packaging comes with a bunch of different accessories, all of which applies to the original Mutagen Man figure from Playmates. And essentially, that's what the line is, just redoing all those figures, giving them modern articulation, paint, really souping them up. That's, that's interesting, so that's cool. The box on the sides and everything else kind of reminds you of a New York City sewer, subway, bricks, all that kind of stuff. You can screen grab this if you'd like to read the bio. Kind of shares the idea of Mutagen Man from the original TMNT cartoon. But it's just it's something I wanted to check out. Especially since I'm going full-blown into NECA's cartoon turtles, movie turtles, everything NECA. So this is fun to have. It gives me a good idea of what Super 7 is doing. So sit back, relax. Grab yourself a nice hot cup of mutagen. This is a look at the brand new Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates, the Mutagen Man. And of course, here is Seymour Guts, aka the Mutagen Man, out of the packaging. And it's every bit like everyone's been saying. These are very cool looking updates to the original Playmates toys. You got a big, oversized Mutagen Man. And you do get a number of accessories. And I like the paint on them. I like what they're doing. This is fun. I'm not going to jump into this line and get every single one. Being that I got Mutagen Man, I feel like he goes with my neck of toys in some way. Especially since I do like this Mutagen Man design than the old cartoon one. They're both good in the sense, but this one's a lot more gross and just the you know, kind of thing. But very cool to have all the original parts and pieces. I'll show you my original Mutagen Man in just a second. This one, definitely glad to have him, but you can see that they've recaptured everything about these old toys, and that's really where the nostalgia takes shape. It's friggin' cool. So, you do get a bunch of pieces to him, a lot of which that you don't want to lose, just FYI, much like the Playmates toys ones, right, it's from back in the day. And he's got the eyeballs sticking out, the brain, the mouth with the tongue out, the guts inside the chamber, all these different accessories that, again, you don't want to lose. Get your baggies or your parts drawers or whatever else. But I do like seeing this. It's a great design figure for back in the day. Now, in taking the design and redoing it, does it make it their own? Not really. But they're doing something distinct and unique, something that I wish... Playmates would have done, or at least maybe Super 7 and Playmates could do something where they could put these on the store shelves. I would be more inclined. They are expensive. There's a reason why they are expensive, because they are made to order. So that's in and of itself. And you plus you can go to the Super 7 store and buy them. But every little detail on this guy has the paint and the sculpt and the grossness that Playmates Toys was known for. Now he comes with the accessories of an apple core. These are all just one color for all of them, as you'll soon see. You got the little baby turtle right here. Again, just nicely sculpted. You got like a snot rocket slash like an eyeball, like somebody tore it out. You got a bone, which is cool. Half-eaten pizza slice. Hey, can't go wrong with that. And of course, the dead fish. Every figure needs a dead fish, along with the final wrench. Throw a wrench in there. Put him inside his little containment unit. He does come with that original gun, kind of like space weapon, very Ninja Turtle gun, gizmos, gadgets all over it. Nice paint apps, a little gold on top of the yellow, can't complain about that. And he also comes with a pair of interchangeable fists on the other side. You get the chewed up pieces of his skin, so it coincides with his open hand that features the exact same 
And then, of course, this is actually the coolest part. Reminiscent of the old Playmates toys, you got the little weapons tree that they have. You can pull these all off if you like, or you can just deal with the ones that were painted. That's really cool. But this is a big mamma jamma of a figure. I like this guy. He's not heavy, but he's hefty. He's he's cool. He's got some nice heft to him. I appreciate that. You can remove this just like the old toy. And as you can see, I mean, you can't fill him with water. You can't put the parts in there. You can't have it float around. That's unfortunate. But, uh... It, oh, here, you know what? Like, yeah, that's one thing. I do get some paint fleck from the inner tube, you know, the sealant thing right there. Now, I was kind of hoping I could put all the pieces in there. That way I could just keep them in there permanently, never have to deal with them again. But the brain kind of goes up against the top. Maybe you can kind of put them in there, but I think once they're in, they would probably be in. So that's up to you. I might end up doing that just to make sure I never lose them. But the articulation is pretty sturdy on this guy no part of it feels like it's going to break it feels like an old playmates figure right here just be careful you don't want the paint to rub it kind of grinds together a little bit right here on this side of the arm just an fyi he'll have a spin at the wrist he'll kick out he'll have knees it's just some of the joints are a little bit stuck just go easy on him especially on the knees he'll also rotate at the knee and he's got up and down rotation rocker everything else but it's really the the paint apps for this guy that really emulates what playmates toys did back in the day they were so gruesome and garish overly sculpted but it's cool the gun fits in his hand no problem whatsoever just kind of sits in there it, it's exactly like playmate it's very reminiscent it's just the retroness the feel the vintage feel of it, it's brought to life. So in that sense, they definitely achieved greatness here. Now for me, like I said, putting him with my neck of toys, I think he's a good size. He's a big, bigger figure than, let's say, the Turtles. So for me, the cartoon, he was about their size, if not smaller, but I think it looks cooler this way. Just think of a big mutagen man coming out the Turtles. That's pretty dang cool. In terms of the Krang android body, yeah, it definitely towers over the mutagen man. So again, that, I think, works as well. That's a nice little fit between the two. And next to Baxter Stockman, yeah, he's going to dwarf him in size. Now, here is my original Mutagen Man. Yes, he's been yellowed. Yes, this is basically what's left of him. I still think I have the gun somewhere. I'm going to try and find that. But I love this character. I played with him till the cows came home. Filled with water. I you know, pick, make it so uh, I'll... I'll regain all his parts i think one day but you can see what they've changed what they've updated but largely it's the same exact figure revitalized energized kaboom now you got this friggin awesome super i wouldn't say super articulated but just the right amount of articulation to really bring this guy to life that coupled with all the paint yes can't go wrong with this mutagen man and while I got you guys here, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you like my videos, I have retro videos, new toys, daily information updates, everything and anything. I guarantee you, you'll find something here that you like. So that's going to wrap it up for my thoughts on the new Super 7 TMNT Ultimates Mutagen Man. Again, I am not going to get into this line fully. If they do a few characters here and there, let's say like Wingnut and Screwloose, yeah instant buy for me but I'm more inclined to buy the NECA toys because I've already had the Playmates versions of these back in the day so while they are doing something very cool and they are updating them it's not exactly for me it's not my thing where I have to go back and get them if the price was a little bit cheaper I would be more inclined in all honesty but I don't fault them for having the price on that it's totally understandable but I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Are they for you? Do you need to get them? Have you gotten them? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Super 7 TMNT Ultimates. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, his name was Seymour Guts before he was mutated. Seymour Guts. You get it? <laughs> and when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.